Hello there, this is Smokey and in this week's tip of the week I will show you different ways of cutting holes in your objects. First let's delete all the objects from our default scene and let's start with flat surface. Uh, let's add plane. The easiest way to cut hole in it is deleting one vertex, selecting all the ones that surrounded it using the sphere option and there you go. The simplest way of cutting a hole on uh, a flat uh, uh, object. Uh, you can always use subdivision surface modifier to make it look even rounder. It's up to you. The other method involves uh, a vertex pivot, a quite new feature in Blender. You can use it on the middle vertex, then subdivide the result, delete the middle vertex and use the sphere option on the other ones. Uh, as a result you've got n-cons, you don't need them uh, sometimes, usually no one needs them, so just co uh, connect this uh, vertex uh, using J uh, uh, shortcut. Okay, another method uh, is based on idea of actually uh, modeling uh, uh, modeling the hole. So let's see the number of vertex. Here we got number 16. So let's add here um, a circle with with 16 uh, edges. And now you can just simply select uh, both edge loops and use bridge uh, uh, to to connect them. Uh, nice and clean method. Um, Okay, let's add another plane and this time let's use uh, inset option. Uh, this method is based on subdivision surface modifiers, so this is uh, how we will make our hole look round. But look carefully, uh, you can see that it's not really that round, there are some distortions uh, on both sides and at the top and at the bottom, so my advice is to apply this modifier at the first level and use the sphere option on the edge loops you, you need. And there you go, another uh, hole in your uh, uh, mesh. Uh, another case uh, involves uh, boolean. Uh, I know that many people hate them, I don't think they are that bad if you use them wisely. Here on flat surface as you can see it, it works perfectly. All you have to do is uh, delete the lower uh, vertex uh, and actually you've got a hole with a pretty nice topology. Uh, uh, okay, but what if our surface is, uh, is faced on somewhere else? Not necessarily our top view. Well, you may not know, but you can always use Shift and uh, 7 from your uh, uh, numpad, and you will uh, you will uh, uh, get the view from the top of selected face uh, uh, according to its normal. Now let's go to User Preferences in Editing. Let's change Align to uh, to view so that our newly created objects will uh, face the view we are working on. Um, I made a mistake here. Let's, let me locate my uh, cursor here. Okay, let's add this call. Okay, and here's another case. If number of uh, these two edge loops uh, uh, differs, so we've got 4 and 16, you can always use Alt F option to uh, fill this uh, uh, big gap. Uh, it works, it works well, um, I strongly advise you to do that. Okay, in case you need uh, a large number of uh, holes in your flat, on your flat surface, uh, Check out curves. Uh, you can always change them to two-dimensional ones, 
and add another curves that will uh, immediately uh, form holes on your uh, flat surface. You can always change resolution to the one you actually need. Topology is not that pretty. Okay, let's move on and let's uh, work on more uh, oval shapes. Let's try the cylinder and let's uh, just cut hole uh, right here. Okay, first of all I will add a circle object that will become my hole. And this is uh, the case in which I'm going to use shrink wrap modifier. Uh, okay, let me just apply rotation and scale of my objects just in case and let's move to shrink wrap modifier I will use my cylinder as my target but as you can see none of the modes work well uh, to actually use this uh, modifier we need some faces so I will just extrude my loop uh, a bit and as you can see it works really now with project option I, st uh, I just made my uh, hole stick to the surface of cylinder. Now I, I will delete some cylinders. I will check the number of edge loops and to make them uh, even I will add another edge loop to my cylinder. Another method involves knife tool. So let's add cylinder once again and now I will add circle as a kind of my reference uh, that will help me to make some precise cuts uh, okay let me just uh, apply scale and uh, rotation uh, recalculate normals just in case now I, I will use Alt B option to limit the view of my scene and now with uh, holding, uh, holding shift I will use knife and cut more, cut more or less the shape of my uh, uh, hole. There you go. Let me connect those cuts. I will delete my reference cut and perfect. Uh, this is what I uh, achieved. Um, of course, uh, as a result, you've got n cons. Oh, oops, let me just apply the scale so that two sphere option will work well. Um, here we go. Now you can just, um, you need to tweak topology a bit in order to get rid of uh, n cons, which are usually unnecessary especially when you want to uh, when you want to uh, just uh, export your model to another application uh, okay but here is uh, uh, a really big one so we need to get rid of it and how uh, it's quite simple I will add uh, one two three Two, um, uh, uh, no, three edge loops here. Okay, now I will delete the end guns I want to get rid of. Uh, okay, only faces. And now let's just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six on each side. Six loops on each side. Oops. Um, Okay, no. Um, okay, uh, never mind. Perhaps I made a mistake, so I will just connect these edges uh, manually. And as you can see, no distortions. Topology is great, fast, and very reliable method.